Novak Djokovic versus Alex Dimonor is the third quarterfinal for the men's Monte Carlo Masters for 2024. And both guys have been super impressive to get to the quarterfinals. Dimonor entered the tournament as a number 11 seed and will take on Stan Vavrinka in the first round, which is no problem getting through in straights. 6 3 6 Love. In the second round, he'd take on Greek Spore, and this was a battle. After dropping the first set, he would fight back to win 2 6 6 2 6 3. In the third round, he'd take on Poprin, who had just taken out Rublev, the number 6 seed, in the previous round. This was no problem for Dimonor getting through in straights. 6 3 6 4 to advance to the quarterfinals. Djokovic entered the tournament as the number one seed, and we get a buy in the first round. In the second round, he'd take on Safulin, because there's no problem getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-2. In the third round, he'd take on Musetti, the man that had beat him last year in Monte Carlo. And after a close first set, Djokovic would get through in straights, 7-5, 6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. These two guys have only played twice before, with the head-to-head -head split down the middle 1-1, including a match earlier this year with Dimonor getting a straight sets win over Djokovic. But remember at the start of the year, Djokovic was injured, so I don't know how much weight we can put into that win, but it will give Dimonor a massive confidence boost going into this match. If Dimonor's going to win this one, he needs to use his gas tank and use his legs to really drag out the rallies and try and get Djokovic hitting more and more shots. Djokovic did look a little bit weird against Musetti. Uh, did look a little bit tired as well at times against Musetti, so he really has to drag out these rallies, Dimonor, if he's any chance of winning. Djokovic's going to win this one. He needs to improve his net game. He came to the net a lot against Musetti, and it just didn't work for whatever reason. Also, he needs to figure out why he was getting so tired. He was shaking at the change of ends at one point as well, so he's really going to have to get off to a good start because against Musetti, he also got, went down a break. This is such a great matchup. A rematch again for Djokovic in this tournament, this time against Dimonor, but i got to go with Djokovic in this one. On the clay courts, I feel like Nolay just has a bit of an edge on Dimonor, and I reckon he's going to get through in a close straight sets, but let me know down in the comments below who's going to make the semis.